The very first explorers in the Southwest were a Spaniard called Cabeza de Vaca and an African by the name of Esteva. As a result of a shipwreck, the Spaniard and the Moor traveled in 1528 west along the Rio Grande. They made friends with the Indians, learning Indian dialects and the arts of the medicine man. Esteban's black skin was accepted by the Indians as a sign of a supernatural being. It was Esteban who, when he finally reached Mexico City, helped persuade the Spanish explorer Coronado to cross the Rio Grande into New Mexico in search of the fabled seven cities of gold. The cities of gold sought by Coronado turned out to be the red clay villages of the Pueblo Indians. He found Indians living in cliff dwellings, including cave rooms gouged out of solid rock. It's believed that some of these caves had served as Indian dwellings for over 20,000 years. There were three-story high complexes along the bases of canyons and many pueblos and apartment-like dwellings. Now there are historic monuments and ruins visited by present-day descendants of the original builders. By following the Rio Grande, Coronado and later Spanish explorers had water from the river and food from friendly Indians living in pueblos along its banks. <laughs> 